Hey, it's me again. Same day, same everything, same sweater, at my office. Something just happened, and I'm getting smarter. A few weeks ago, I did an interview with a guy named Bo Mimic. Bo was from W. In CN, and we did a story about uh, Donald Trump. You remember I was at the Trump rally, and and the refugees and all that kind of stuff. You know, people wondered whether or not I had endorsed Donald Trump and all that. Hadn't endorsed anyone. I was there because they asked me to pray, and I was glad to go there and pray to the Father in the name of Jesus. And I'll go and pray at any of the rallies if I'm invited, as long as I can pray to the Father in the name of Jesus. Uh, but. Um, Bo asked me a question. He said to me, uh, since you can't vet the Syrian refugees and since the CIA and the FBI have said there's no way to properly vet them, his, these were his words, don't you think it's a good idea that we halt the immigration, not bring them in until they can be properly vetted? My response was, that's a no-brainer. Uh, my response was, uh, or, or something to the effect that that's common sense. If we can't vet these people, then we, we shouldn't bring them in. Well, when Bo aired it, Bo said, oh, there's at least one preacher in town who agrees with Donald Trump. And then he aired my answer to the question that he asked that was with regard to vetting Syrian refugees, not, he didn't ask me whether or not we should stop the influx of all Muslims. So I guess that's, you know, that's the media's job to try to make people who are, whose position is different from theirs look a certain kind of way. I actually called Bo and I asked him was, would he at least put the whole interview on their website and he said that his manager said that they couldn't do that maybe they don't have enough room but so I, I'm, 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 I'm learning uh, this is not the first time that that has happened to me um, uh, it happened to me one time with the NNO with Barry Sanders my homeboy Barry called and asked me about a protest that we were doing downtown I answered the questions he asked me but when he did the story he talked about how I didn't mention a thing about a young man who had been murdered downtown uh, and, and uh, in Raleigh uh, during the, that, that summer. And, uh, and I didn't, but that's because he didn't ask me about it. So when I called him and he told me he, he, he felt that I, uh, he, that I felt bad, that he practiced what I call ambush journalism on me. And he did a retraction, which was not a retraction, but, you know, I got what I could. So, I'm saying that to say this. I just talked to a guy, his name is uh, Curran. Am I saying it right? Uh, Curran? Curran Hugh? Uh, he's a beat writer for the NNO. And he asked me questions about this movement in the Wake County Public School Systems to make all of the bathrooms accessible to everybody. So that the transgendered people can go in any bathroom that they want. So if he's a guy and he thinks he's a girl, he should be able to go to the ladies' bathroom. And if he's a and if she's a lady and she thinks she's a guy, she should be able to go to the uh, boys' bathroom. And if he's a guy and he's uh, done some kind of surgery and giving himself boobs up top and he's done like uh, uh, Bruce Jenner and had facial real facial softening surgery if he's done that or if the guy wears a dress then this guy whom God made a guy he's anatomically a guy he's biologically a guy he's mentally a guy except for the mental disorder that's going on he's a guy uh, and, uh, and and she, she can walk like a man, act like a man, talk like a man. You can act as butch as you want, but you are a female. So if you've got a, a bra to hide your breasts or if, if you've had a perfectly good set of healthy breasts removed, and uh, but down below you're still a, a female, and even if you've had that change, you're still a female, you should be able to go into the bathroom with where the guys are. So this is what the Wake County school system uh, is debating, and, and uh, this is what the students are, are, are petitioning for. My answer to the guy, it's going to be in the newspapers, I think, tomorrow. I said it is the height of stupidity. Now, if he say that I said that, I said it, and my friends, it is. It is a mental disorder. I told him that I also agree with Dr. Paul McHugh, uh, uh, former psychiatrist-in-chief 
at John Hopkins University. And from uh, uh, Dr. McHugh says, he says he no longer performs sexual reassignment surgery. He says that uh, this great professor, uh, to my knowledge, he's not a Christian. And oh, by the way, he's not a member of Upper Room. So he's not, uh, he's not affected by my gospel whatsoever. But he says that transgenderism is a mental disorder, which is a no-brainer. It is a mental disorder. I mean, you're standing there, you're a guy. Everything about you says you're a guy. Everything about Bruce Jenner says he's a guy. Because old Bruce is saying now he don't even know why he did to himself what he did. Sounds like a little buyer's remorse. But hey, Bruce, you paid a whole lot. You're a guy. And, and there is a voice in your head that contradicts everything about you, the size of your hand, the size of your feet, your ana anatomical plumbing, facial hair, broad chin, broad shoulders, everything, even the length of your fingers. Everything says you're a guy, but there's a voice in you that says, I'm a girl, I'm a girl, I'm a girl. And so you go from wearing pants to a dress, you, 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 you begin to take uh, 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 estrogen or whatever, and, 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 and you make yourself a freak. No two ways about it. That's the word that comes to mind. And, and, and uh, the doctor says it is a mental disorder that merits, and I agree with the doc here, it merits treatment. Uh, it should not be encouraged. And the doctor says this, this man who has performed multiple surgeries, he says, that sex change is biologically impossible. I agree with him. And people who promote sexual reassignment surgery are calibrating with the promoting with and they're calibrating with, excuse me, and promoting a mental disorder. It is craziness. It is, it is listen, Wake County, d don't allow this. Uh, my position is, is the height of stupidity and is the height of arrogance. We, I, I also mentioned in the story, I remember I've been in, in this city for 28, going on my 29th year. I remember when the homosexual community said that they all they wanted was privacy in their bedroom, that they were not interested in getting married. That they that they that their argument was it's nobody's business what two adults do in their bedroom. Well, we've gone from that to them getting married, and from them getting married, to now we want to change the bathrooms, of all things, the bathrooms, so that when our young ladies who were born that way are in the bathroom uh, 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 doing what women do, what humans do in the bathroom, they got to be concerned that some guy, some, some freak, he's a guy from his waist down, Hence the, the definition of transgendered guy from his waist down and he's made himself a weird looking girl from the waist up. He's got this thing going on in his head and he walks into a bathroom with people's daughters. And there are, there are otherwise intelligent people who think that this is a good idea. And, and, and then for some young, young girl who in her head she thinks she's a guy. So she's going to all butch up and she's walking in the guy's bathroom. But, you know, if, if with all due respect, if she only has to urinate, she still can't use the urinals because she can't pee standing up with the plumbing that God has given to the female. It is craziness. And listen, the God of the Bible says this in, in Matthew's Gospel, chapter 19 and verse 4. For God made them male and female, not this transgendered garbage. So yes, I called it stupidity. I called it, I called it crazy. I, I, I hit the t table here. And, and if uh, they put uh, this in the paper, then they're quoting me correctly. But I just, I just think from now on when I do something with the media, and if they decide not to cover me, that's fine, you know, as long as God covers me. But I think that I need to do something, do, do a little backup and put something out there because, my friends, in 2016, journalism is dead. It's dead. It's dead. Somebody shot journalism in the head. They hung journalism. They took journalism, true journalism, and they, they gave journalism the electric chair. Why do I say this? A true journalist, a good true journalist, you have no idea where they stand on an issue. Most of these journalists now seek to be commentators. 
They want to comment. They want to give their comment. You can tell their slant. You can tell whether or not they're liberal or conservative by the way they cover a story and the tricks that they play with stories. They ask you one thing, get an answer from one question, and then they they take that and rearrange it and, and, and put it out there and try to make it sound like you're saying something else. It would be good if you could trust a journalist. I don't. So therefore, I'm covering myself. I did this today. Now I got to go back and finish studying the word of the Lord because we've got a good Bible study tonight. I'm fired up. I'm really fired up. I'm really, really, really fired up. And I hope that there's enough common sense people in the Wake County school system that there's enough common sense students. Hey, students, stop being so politically correct. You know, you know, you know that you know better. A guy is not a girl. And, and Dr. Dr. Hugh says this, uh, the man from uh, 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 John Hopkins, uh, who, by the way, not a member of Upper Room, and by the way, I have no influence on this man. He says a great number, he says most of the, the transgender people grow out of it, uh, 70 to 80% of the children who express these feelings, 70 to 80% spontaneously lose those feelings over time. I guess the demon goes away or the or common sense steps in and the guy goes, you know what? I'm really a guy. And the girl goes, you know what? I'm really a female. And they live the rest of their days and uh, they don't have that problem anymore. Unless you're one of them that wake up one day and say, God, what have I done to myself? Isn't it sad? When the girl wakes up, she's cut off a perfectly healthy set of breasts because she thought she was a guy trying to get a man's chest. And she wakes up one day and realizes, I'm a girl. I'm a girl after all. I'm female after all. Or the guy, after he's done this, you know, it, it, it dawns on him and he's got boobs. Well, I'm a guy. I'm a guy after all. I'm really a guy. Come on, people. Come on, come on, come on. Listen, it's a mental disorder. It should be treated like a mental disorder. I disagree with the president. I disagree with ESPN. I disagree with the, the news people, the pundits who say, oh, Bruce Jenner is so brave. Caitlin, did you see how he had the courage to come out? <laughs> and then Cosmopolitan magazine, I think it was Cosmopolitan, if it wasn't, I apologize, made a man the woman of the year. <laughs> Now you know that's 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 messed up. That's whack. Whatever you want to call it, that's messed up. A man, a man, is the woman of the year. A a man who has augmented himself to 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 favor a woman up top and an ugly woman, I might add. And this is the person who becomes woman of the year. I don't know why women aren't outraged. I don't know why women aren't canceling their subscriptions of Cosmopolitan magazine. And uh, with the ESPYs, uh, he gets the, the, uh, the, the courage of war. And when he stood up and talked, everybody was, i tell you what the people were thinking. This guy's a fool. This guy's a fool. And then after he does all this to himself, you know what he says? Well, I'm still sexually attracted to women. Come on, friends. Come on, people. Wake up out there. Something's going wrong. I love you, but I wanted to tell, I wanted to cover myself. So when you read the news in the Observer tomorrow, if he quotes me right, if he says that I said it was a the height of stupidity, it's it's wrong that it, that I quoted the Bible, and that I warned against the dangers of letting people in, and not to mention the number of guys who may pretend to be a little transgender so they could get in and get a little feel or a little look at the women, you know, you, you wouldn't put that uh, 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 past the guys. And, and uh, so uh, I did warn that this is not good. That's my position on it, and I'm not changing it. See you tonight.